Hello and welcome to Wargamer Online. We are back with another 2000 point Age of Sigmar battle report in the studio, not TTS game, and we are playing Sylvan F versus Mountain Lumen F Realm Lords. What's the twist? No gods. Godless armies. Woo! <laughs> This video is made possible by our patrons. For my godless 2000 point Sylvan F army, I have the Glade Null Root. Uh, my general is a classic pose Tree Lord Ancient. He's got the command trait nurtured by magic, uh, the artifact of the Vesperal Gem, and the Deepwood spell Virtuous Harmony. He's accompanied by a converted modified Tree Lord Ancient. He's got the Deepwood spell Regrowth. Both of them are accompanied by Drycha Hammerdraft. She's top, she's a star. She's coming in with Tree Song. And then finally, in my hero slot, I have a Branch Witch. No, Branch Wraith, sorry, with a Chalice of Nectar and the Deepwood spell Dwellers Below. For my battle line, 10 Spite Revenants. Love those models. 10 more Spite Revenants. Love those models. 10 Tree Revenants, yeah, they're all right. Followed by six Kernoff Hunters with Scythes. And in the Behemoth slot, oh, there he is, a Tree Lord. Finally, um, all of that comes with a Battalion Lords of Clan, which is those guys there. And we also have uh, the Endless Spell, the Spice Swarm Hive, and the Glade Worm. Um, I, I, for my 2000 points, also godless Lumineth Realm Lords, um, I have a whole bunch of heroes. I have Alvanor the Stoneheart King. I also have a Stone Mage who is the general with the Almighty Blow and Mountains gift command trait and artifact, and also has the Voice of the Mountain spell. The Cenari Cathala with the Silver Wind Artifact and the Protection of Hayish spell. And lastly, I haven't brought him for a while, so the Light of Eltharion is making an appearance. Battle line, two units of ten Stone Guard. They are battle line because I am playing Yemetrica. Uh, one of the units has the Diamond Picked Hammers and one of the units who still need to find their capes, but they have the Stone Mallets. And then two units of ten uh, Venari Wardens, one of which with the Total Eclipse spell and one of which with the Speed of Hayish spell. And a Behemoth, which is the Spirit of the Mountain, and um, the, the Stone Mage and the two units of Stone Guard are in the Alarith Temple Battalion, and I have also purchased an extra command point. And that is 2,000 points, Lumineth Realm Lords. Yes, well, welcome back. Um, we've had a little bit of a break. There's been a lot going off in the studio, um, so we've been off for a couple of weeks. Uh, of course, Luke, JP, Liam, uh, Fabian, uh, Mark, uh, John have all kept you entertained, along with our guest players as well, with the TTS yeah. battle reports from the tournaments. It's really good if you want some like tactical insight and stuff because they know yeah we, more than you, us. JP, you know, it's old Scotland old. team. Yep. Mark, Wales. Yep. Luke. England, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like Luke doesn't know what he's doing. Though, he they all do. Well, yeah, yeah. Luke just, Luke just does whatever you tell him to. <laughs> he's gonna love that one. Um, right. So uh, before we go too far, though, huge thank you to all of our YouTube likers, subscribers. If you've never liked a video before, hit the like button. You can do it. There you can. If you don't already subscribe to us, just do it. Just do it. it it's a click. It's a click. It. That's it. Click. I'll give you a second to do it now before we move on. Focus. Click. Okay. okay. Um, also, big thank you to all of our patrons um, who make all of this possible, of course. Uh, we've just been filming the uh, pre-post game, which we do exclusively for our patrons. And had a good old giggle in that. So yep. don't forget, if you're a patron, check that video out. If you're not a patron, take us out, uh, check us out on patreon.com. Um, links all over the place. Right, let's talk about the game, though. What have we done? We're godless. Yeah, no gods. Why are we godless? Um, I got Alvanor done, and I like him, and he's a god in his own right, really. So, so this is an off-meta, if there's such a word, an off-meta Lumina for Realm Lords Army. Yeah, it's kind of just a mountain smash. It's just mountains, yeah? It's yeah. all the stone guard and the mountain guys, yeah? yeah? 
Well, basically. there are like Venari and. Oh, Alfari okay, and, but, yeah, yeah, but they're, they're, the majority yeah. is majority. like a big core of stone stuff. And and seeing as though you've gone godless, I thought, what the hell? Well, I'm going to do it too. So for a change, I didn't bring Alariel along with my no. Silvernef. So well, you did I've bring gone six Colonel Hunters, who are basically a god in their own right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I don't have access to another unit with this army, which makes a big difference. You know, know. you can't bring that extra You're unit. You're having on. to play at two thousand points. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I did, well, did actually, bring a branch rate. Yeah, you know, at least so. you get dryads. So hopefully, I'll be banging a few dryads yeah. into the game. But can't we'll complain. see. Silvernef. Can't complain. Um, right, okay then. So, where are we at? Um, Shifting yeah. objectives. Shifting objectives. Uh, All the it's good going to be one of those games. Yep. Um, with, as ever, with uh, Sylvan F uh, Battle Reports, we've left space for some woods. Crazy not to. Uh, we all, everybody knows that Sylvan F can be defeated, beaten uh, hands down if they can't get some woods off. And even with the woods going up, it's a challenge. So, um, you know, we've left space to play. That only makes sense. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the mission, have a quick chat at the mission, and get on with the game. Yep. Battle plan for day is shifting objectives. Now, <laughs> if you don't know how this works, there is three objectives along the center line. Um, now, at the start of each battle round, before determining who has the first turn, you roll a d3. Bonk, bonk, the objective with the corresponding number is the primary objective for that battle round. And the other two objectives are secondary objectives for that battle round. Uh, you start in these kind of weird truncated deployment zones, so nothing out on the flanks really. But um, if you get the primary objective, you get two victory points. If you get the secondary objective, you get one victory point. But if you have a battle line on the objective, you get an extra victory point. So there we are. That is shit. What? Objective. <laughs> well, you were listening, mate. <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah, I think yeah. that's it. Fairly straightforward mission. There we go then, as we move into round one, a few things to do, we need to determine where the objective is. Yeah. One, two, three. It's one, which puts it over there? Yeah. yeah. That one there. Okay, we'll sort that out in a moment. Um, right, uh, you had way many less drops than me. Yeah, the big old battalion. Um, so you were in before, and I can't remember who won the roll-off. You won the roll-off anyway, didn't you, yeah. as well? I think, against my better judgment, just because I'm so slow, I don't think I'm going to be able to get on the objective, so I'm going to let you go first. Yeah, you might as well let me close the gap. Yeah, I can't afford gonna... not to close the gap, yeah. so I want the points. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'll do that. Cool. Let's go into it. Sylvan F, turn one. Everyone, we're just recording this. We've noticed we're halfway through the game, and we've noticed that Jack's dice cam wasn't working. What we've done is we pushed on, and about halfway through the game, you'll start to see the dice dice rolls from Jack's side of the table working. So apologies for that. He does call all of the dice rolls out, so you've still got an idea of what he's doing. But uh, technical error on our part, fixed now. Won't happen again. Keep watching. Here we go then into my hero phase. I'm a bit short on dice over here, but we'll sort some out shortly. Um, right, okay, first up, um, the branch rave. She's going to, I'm just going to grab some more dice. She's going to do Raz to Raf. Sorry, 3d6. 3d6, because of the uh, chalice of nectar. Uh, that's a five. That oh game over. That's it. Because all I needed was ten dryads down there. Okay, well, next up, the Tree Lord Ancient, that's not my general, who's the furthest on the right-hand flank. You're probably yeah. going to get a deny, are you? Let's go for um, the, uh, the Verdant Blessing. The trees. Yeah. Trees. And that's on an 8, it's going off. I s don't stop it on an 8. So you get a plus? or No, don't get a plus. So, set of trees to go up? Yep. Next up, then, I am going to use the Tree Lord Ancient on this side. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the, but it's his once yeah, per game. It's his once per game somewhere. Razor Forest. I'm going to bring up a second, uh, another set of trees. Yep. Okay, so that's that uh, set of woods up. Yeah. Um, you can only do that. It says once per turn, once per, once per, once game, per game, you can pick one model that turn. So. Yeah. The way we're playing the Tree Lord Ancients is, and I did check with one of the guys that we know at GW, who was a TO, said basically, you can definitely do it each Model. per Tree Lord Ancient, 
but you can't do it with two tree lord ancients in the same term is how yeah. they were interpreting that rule so that's and i know that look the it. tree rules are all over the place so i know that people are going to disagree with that interpretation and stuff like that but it's what we there's, play there's a bit of home and at the end of the day we, you know we're playing it and we both agree to it so that's yeah. the way we're going but there's um you know as ever and again the way we're playing it is is uh, we follow the rule for the summoning of the trees. So in that case, I have to be more than an inch away from terrain features, uh, objectives or models. Yep. Uh, sorry, not object. it's just objectives and models. It doesn't mention terrain features, but yeah. then we're applying the overall of plus three inches basically. Yeah, yeah. So we're three inches away from everything. Uh, but no longer the six inch away from objectives. Which is just for trees at the beginning. At the beginning, and doesn't come from, because the General's Handbook makes no mention of yeah. a rule round. Uh, it mentions three inches on objectives. You're basically so. you're having to pull rules from about ten different sources. So we've done the best we can. We do, and the point this is, makes the, it more the main thing is, is we've all agreed what it is. Otherwise, yeah. you just can't place the trees, or you just spend all the game arguing about where you place yeah. the trees. So this is how we're playing it. Um, so yeah, there we are. Um, what else have we got going off? Uh, well, uh, you know, I can still have a go at, um, you casting. still got two more casts. So you've got Dreicher's cast and that Tree Lord Ancient's cast. So you know what? Well, Dreicher's got two. Can she cast two? I thought she only got one yeah, cast. No, she's a two cast wizard, I think. Right, next up, Spite Swarm Hive coming from. You know what? I don't think it really matters. Um, do it from. 15. Do it from the Tree Lord Ancient. I th No, uh, I'm not in range to stop from the Tree No, sorry, because I've done the deny with them, so either one I can't deny. Can they deny? No, Stone Guard don't have denies. Or anything. And they don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go from the Tree Lord Ancient. <laughs> <laughs> Should have done it with Drycha. And then Drycha, I am going to do a Mystic Shield onto the Colonel Hunters, I think. Yeah, you could put the Glade Worm up ready for next turn to do some heals, or... Because it can't, it can't hurt you. Know what? You. It can't hurt you when it goes over you. No, I think you will have to at least deny it. Do something with it. Yeah, go on then, Glade okay. Worm. Just because. Six. I don't even think that goes off. I'm going to have to check the Glade Worm. So, of course, the Glade Worm is a seven. Like, you know, as I suspected, then the spells would be, so that doesn't go off. Yep. Um, I think at that, my hero phase is over. Um, okay. We are into um, movement shenanigans. shenanigans. Pretty poor hero phase for me there. But let's get into you this. you got trees. you got trees. All right, into my movement, and then the first, and then at the start of movement, the tree revenants are going to hop, skip, and a jump so around the back of there. looking at this... Yeah one of them's going to have to go there and still remain out of line of sight and then the rest of them can kind of go wherever they want to yeah type just that stack them around the back why why do you think for the six inch bubble for the six inch bubble yeah it's either there or there yeah and that I one see your point. gets line, of, line sight. of sight if you so can go there then leave them down out. there it's costly but it's the primary well they're out of line of sight, sight so yeah. it's hard to and you haven't got any shooty stuff that can negate line of sight. Oh, you do have double move though, so I am expecting you'll just move on and charge those guys. Or do something like that. Um, next up, I am going to run the Spike Revenants. And it's a 6, which is definitely what I needed. Um, so at an 11 inch move... Just gonna see how far I need to go. That's literally one model up to there. We'll tag that objective. I'm wondering at 11 inches whether <laughs> six inch to there. So I would need to get to there. Oh, plenty. I'm gonna just tag both of those objectives with that unit. Okay. Okay. It's not brilliant because you can see and shoot me. But, you know, I dare say you will have other issues to target. Yep. <sighs> right. Next up. Is everyone else just going to hug trees? Yeah, I think so. Here we go, then. I'm going to start moving stuff around rapidly, really. The Tree Lord Ancient is going to run. The non-general Tree Lord Ancient. He gets a three-inch move. So They've got a five-inch move, so that oh, gives him an eight-inch move. It's going to get there. Does that manage to get me across both of those guys? 
Yeah, from Alvinor. Okay, I'm going to uh, str- With a move, he might be able to. Yeah, I, I don't there. think I can completely avoid you. I don't have enough trees. Yeah, but you are, one. you are avoiding him. Yeah. So... And then on a two-inch run on this one, he's really not going to do anything. Then he's just, again, probably avoiding one, but not the other. Yeah. And then this Tree Lord Ancient over here. He gets... He gets a one-inch move, so he's only a six. I'm really not hitting the big rolls here, am well, I? So if he's got a six, you could move him six that way and try and... It's not enough, dude. He was here. Look, he'd get to there. He'd get to where Dreiter is. It would get him... I wouldn't get him wholly within six of the trees, would it? So, no, no, uh, okay. no. It's um, no. Well, he'll definitely get a cover benefit because I'm going straight across that piece of terrain at least. Uh, no, he won't because he's oh, not close enough to the terrain. Yeah, you're right. Um, got to try though, haven't you? He's just going to get killed. Let's face it, and it's my general. Um, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Uh, the Kernoff Hunters. Uh, da, 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 teleport. Teleport into the trees. The Kernoff Hunters are going to... Spirit Path. Spirit Path into here. Yep. Basically. And, you know, try and avoid much as possible breaking the models there you go yeah basically means okay. can't shoot them yeah the idea is try and just stop that shoot for now and you'll be on like a three up save re-rollable in there so and then these spike revenants could just move them over i there, think the so. idea is i'm gonna go for the run with them <laughs> i think it's still enough it's a one inch run i think they're a six inch move but I they might actually five be five inch. i think aren't they oh God, this army. Um, six they inches. Are made of wood, to be fair. So they, oh, it's a five inch, by the way, and I said yeah. six inch because I was adding the run. Um, okay, so let's do that. And then Dreich is going to full on leg it. Let's see if I can just get one more one. Oh, five. She's I've just got spoiled a nine it. Inch yeah, Dreich is pretty quick, actually. So I don't mind Dreich with a five inch run because that gives. Oh, a... are you choosing shoot or combat? Um, shoot, shoot okay. for now. Um, it's 24 inch range with that, isn't it? With her shots. Yeah. Sure. I thought it was 18. Oh, good point. Yeah, you're right. I thought it was 24 at full health, but it is 18. She's got a 9 inch move. I've rolled a 5 inch range. It gives her a 14 inch move, basically. So she is going to hop, skip, and a jump over there. Yeah, I can't. And hopefully. Yeah, with that. You can't get her with that. It's not a strong, terribly strong open play from me. I don't know. You've scored every objective with a battle line. Yeah. So you are getting maximum points. <sighs> if you double me, though, I'm in major trouble. So, okay, at that, um, I don't think there is anything on shooting because uh, none of the Tree Lord's abilities are long enough range. I think we're probably straight into my battle. Okay, so there we go. Straight into battle shot. I score seven everything. points because I'm yeah, maxed out. We um, should mention because some people can get confused in this role. Uh, you can do that because the rule is a, only, a model can hold only one objective, not a unit. Yes. So if you spread a unit out, they can cover two objectives. It's just a single model cannot hold more than yeah. one so in what's So if Lariel's is, massive base was there, you was would have to choose which choose, one yeah. she's holding. But right but, now, I'm literally holding those objectives with one model each. Yep. That's all I've got out of there. That's probably one model as well. I'm yep. not holding these strong. It was never round about that. But they are all battle I do lines. think I've possibly made a tactical error in terms of moving the Kernoff Hunters into the woods. There was no real need to move them forward. So I think I, that was a... I yeah, there's another... Well, you're about to disagree until I tell you the next thing. If I try to put Dryads in there, I don't think I've got room for them. Yeah, there's also... I mean, that. I can put some Dryads back no, here. No, you, you can. <laughs> so they have to go within an inch, so you can line yeah, them all up Yeah, I suppose you can the line them up on the perimeter. edge. Yeah. Okay, um, but more than nine inch from enemy, so it won't take much to advance. But I do have a wood back here as a backup for my dryad. So yep, yeah, that's it. Battle shock, really, and um, nothing more to say than scoring max points, which is, you know, on an opening like this, get your opponent chasing you. You're good. not a fast army. No, and this is the thing. I'm gonna have my army effectiveness is gonna be down because I'm gonna have to run everything to get it onto objectives. So there's gonna be no charges from me. So there we go, into Lumineth turn one.
Okay, Jack, we are good to go for hero phase. Um, yes. Oh, you go up a command point, actually. Let's take care of that while I'm here. That takes you on to two command points. Yeah, I still haven't quite figured out the Shining Companies, because I put them both in Shining Companies and I shouldn't have, because now they can't run. So this means that I'm going to have to... When do you stay there in the Shining Company? At the event? start. I have to stay at the start of the turn when they're all in base-to-base -base contact. What it means is they cannot run or charge, but they can break Shining Company if they end more than an inch away from each other. But of course, I can't do that and run, so they can't uh, run. Which is why they're going to have to speed up Haish themselves on an 11. Well, you're probably good at that. I am going to try and deny 3D6. that with 3d6 with the Chalice of Nectar to unbind. Oh, oh that um, two's out. Uh, Reroll the two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's an 11. So... That's close. That goes off. So they've got the double move. Um, they'll. I wish I'd had that for uh, the Spice Warm Hive or the Dryads. <laughs> they're going to take up defensive positions. So they're going to empower their spears. Uh, no. I'm going to. Protection of Haish from her. So she gets a 9 inch aura, 5 up to ignore. Yep. But it's not like the 18 from Techless. Um, and with an. Eight, I think she fails because I think that is one of those that is super hard to get off. Mm. Uh, but I will have a look. Surely an eight. I've, yeah, not many spells on a nine, dude. Oh, protection of Haish is an eight. So yeah, that just yeah. go off. Do you want to try and stop it? Um, yeah, I think any of my Tree Lord Ancients can do it. Which one is it? It's the this is the it's Calathar the thing. Lady, yeah? Yeah. Is it Calathar? The, yeah, the Snari Calathar. Yeah. That, Service one can't, so it's going to have to be one this is, Tree yeah. Lord Ancient. Oh, yeah, we'll go with the Tree Lord Ancient. And on a nine, I you stop did. you. Nice. Wow. Um, she's going to, because she's got the silver wand. Yeah. She's going to try and Mystic Shield Alvanor. On an eight again. One last deny from Draicha. And on an eight, you so are good. Go. So reroll saves of one on him. And then the Stone Mage is going to try and voice of the mountains. No, oh, I should have saved a deny. No. But I didn't need to. No. Okay. So I got Speed of Haish and um, Mystic Shield on Mystic him. Mystic Shield, yeah. I think... Huh... Neither of us having a super hot hero phase, are we? No. That's all my hero phase stuff, so that's just into movements. Okay. Into movement. Yeah, the Venari just moving up there 12 inches because they are double move. Just mm. to get 10 bodies on the objective like that, may remaining in their shining company. Yep. Because um, they're on the object. That was the double move, yeah? Yes. This unit of Stone Guard are going to run. Six. <laughs> that's how that. you do that's how you do run rolls. So that's a ten inch <laughs> move from them. Which does get them up onto the object. Nicely done, nicely done. <sighs> as fast as their little Woo! Goat legs can carry them. Little tree going flying off the edge of the woods, uh, edge of the woods, edge of the table. Um, the Sinari will move up with them with a run again. So getting her up to there. The um, mountain mage with a four, so that is, I think it's an eight, which gets him up there. This unit of Stone Guard are going to run as well. Three. Oh, oh my, they look so terrifying when they come across the table. It's such a beautiful army. I love them. Yeah, seven inches, it's not great, but they're going to start moving up that way. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at the army thinking. Uh, I could throw that over there, throw that over there, throw that over there. And I'm thinking about what you know, where I want to match up and stuff like that. And then behind that tree, I see that floating Alphanor? suit of armor. No, <laughs> oh, <laughs> then you go, yeah, Altharion. Oh yeah, Altharion. Yeah, yeah he's, kind of there he's well. not exactly an insignificant problem to deal with. Oh is no, he? no. 
Alvinor running uh, up to there. I really need a 10 dryads this Just turn. Pushing the problem. Uh, this unit of wardens moving up there, six, just to the edge of the forest to stop forest shenanigans and yeah, just moving into base-to-base -base contact. Don't forget the charge face punishment. Right. You're okay within an inch on a six. Is it a six or a four? I can never remember. Do you want me to find out for you? It is a six. It is a six, isn't um, it? I'll be fine. Altharion. <laughs> I love how you said that. You three. know I'm going to pull out those six now. Yep. Uh, it's on a five up. Neither of us were right. I move to there. You know what? I think for a long time I played a six and it's a five up. Oh, is it a five up? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Damn, I not Alvinor, sorry, Altharion. He's so terrifying, that model. Doing it on his own. And after so. his performance in... Um, oh, yeah. He's in Teclas, the book in... Oh, man, he was so cool in Teclas. Spirit of the Mountain. Boop! Six inches, not running up to that. Yep. I feeling I've got one dead two, Lord Ancient General. Okay. That's all my movements. Cool. Instant shooting. Avoiding my auto heal that I've got on my general, actually, you've decided to target the spite rev switch. Yeah, I can get that one dude there. The one dude. Oh, yeah, I hadn't so spotted him. So you're definitely clear. So I was thinking it's a bit, so it's on the edge, yeah, but actually, no, there's yeah. a guy there, isn't there? Overhead hammer swing into the ground. Boom. It, hits. it scores. It wounds. Um, that's minus. One or minus two. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, dear me. It is Number minus five. two. Okay, so no save. Uh, uh, three. Ah, three. Three damage. Let's take those three. Cool. Oh, okay, so here we are into your battle shock. You score five points, taking the primary for three points with battle line. Yep. Taking the center one again with battle line. Yep. But not getting that one. Not getting that one. It's just dude. Um, you do have battle shock to take though on the spikes. Are you going to command point it? Yeah. You know what? Um, yeah, I am. I'm going to command point it because okay. I can't. I can't risk losing any more. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay, so there we go. They're good. From Battleshock takes me down to one command point. We need to check where the objective goes before we go into roll up as we go into battle round two. You roll. I did the last one, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> That's the best place for you, possibly. Uh, no, maybe probably. the middle. Maybe the middle. I don't know. There are six Colonel Hunters there. Yeah, well, that all depends on the next roll then. Let's yep. do the roll off for turn two. Roll off for turn two. Three. Three. Uh, and I get it on the. Yeah, I get it. Woohoo! Yep. <laughs> oh, so. Right, here we go into my hero phase. It's such a challenge facing this army because you've got so many tricks. Activation war is my major problem. Mm -hmm. um, any plan I've got. You activate two units, my plan starts to fall yeah. to pieces um, because you are so deadly. So, I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Tree Lord Ancient, the remaining one, is going to bring up his set of woods over here. I yep. think the only limitation is the one inch, three inch rule. Yes. Um, so, you have to go yep. only within 18. Yeah, but so let's, got... let's get some woods over there then. Yeah. There you go then. So, we brought the last woods up, and I've literally raided the box for as many trees as I've got. And we're playing on the rule that the points have to touch. Now, that doesn't mean you can't invert a tree. Yeah, yeah. So that does go like that. I get that. Yeah. But the rule says the points have to touch. The points are touching in every instant. Um, but that is a six tree wood. So that's max size wood. You can't go any no, bigger than that. I think you can that. go nine, can't you? Or is it no, I think three it's to six. six? I think uh, it's three okay, to yeah. six. Um, big wood along there. Um, I, I think it's as much as I can do with that. It gives me lots of room. Really hard for you to shut that wood down if yeah. I wanted to use it. No, I um, like it. I like it. You know what we did forget in your charge phase? Shall oh, I do it now? Five, five up. up. Of course. This is six. So D3. D3. One mortal wound on that unit. So one guy gone. So let's just catch back up on that. Apologies for that. Silver Neff players. Um, I know. They would have had to take a battle shock. 
that good. They're good. Okay, um, moving on with the hero page. Okay, here we go. First up, the Tree Lord Ancient, who is my general, has an auto spell. So yes. he's going to go with regrowth on this so spike revenant unit. D3 of them, D3 of them back. So two. two of them you coming back. You can put them there and there if you want. You that can... was my plan. It's just to put more bodies onto the objective and they're further forward. Yep. And then when he uses the Vesperal Gem, you have to roll the dice on a one. He takes D3 mortal wounds. No, no. So you're good. And then because of his command trait, he could heal somebody within 12 D3 wounds, but nobody is wounded. Nobody's so, wounded at this and stage. And he can't bring back models. No, exactly. So let's move on to casting. Let's go for Rouse to Wrath. Yep. 3D6. Let's hope for something better this time. Do I add all three of these up? No, or pick the two highest. So that is a six. I'll try and stop it. Let's stop no it. No problem at all. Really not getting that 3D6 nope. off, am I? Let's face nope. it. Um, okay, next up then, this Tree Lord Ancient is going to attempt to awaken this wood. Yep. It's casting value of six, I nope. roll a three. With the magics. You could <laughs> unbind it. so bad at you magics. You could unbind it, you're yeah, just not just good at magic. Just can't cast. Um, right. Drycha's got her spell. Yeah, the, 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 I mean, she's got her spell, but her spell is combat, so it's not really going to do anything at this stage. It's quite no, limited so you range. Could just Mystic Shield. I think I'm going to go Mystic Shield onto the Kernop Hunters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. They will get to reroll saves on your turn, but it's this turn. So, yeah, it's probably worth it, isn't it? And that's a seven. Uh, it goes, I'll try and stop it. Nope. Okay, so, so Mystic shield. shield onto the Kurnoff Hunters. And I think at that we are there and we move into... Spell, spell, spell. Oh, do you want to spend any command points? Mm. You've got the six up ignore. You've got reroll saves of one from the Tree Lord Ancients. Yes, hold on a second. Okay, let's spend the command point and go for a six up ignore on the Kurnoff Hunters. Um, yep. I'm just thinking if you double me going round... Let's try and keep them alive for as long as possible, yeah? Yep. Okay. And then um, the last spell, really, I think is going to be Drycha. She's going to go for the Spite Swarm Hive. Yep. That goes off on an eight. Try. Nope, not with a five. Okay, so, so the Spite off. Swarm. There we go. The Spite Swarm Hive is in there. Um, three units in range. Um, the Kill-Off Hunters. Never roll them yes. first. It was almost a one. I did know, you I see didn't it? see that. Drycha. Yep. Two and then the oh the spite rest spites missed it oh man all right here we go into movement the revenants are going to stay where they are because they're giving me a nice um, bubble wrap there well, yeah, the Kernoff hunters are on plus three inch move giving them an eight inch move that takes yeah. me to there Ooh, pikes down lads pikes okay. down I'm going to move a couple and then what we'll do is kind of come back and just close up the rest yeah yep. um, the spite revenants are going to run and they get a one inch run <laughs> um, so the furthest one can move six inches which takes that one to there and the rest of them just coming around here onto the objective basically Okay. You know what, though? Yeah, go on then. That's fine. Um, tree Lord Ancient. It's going to walk forward. That's just the Tree Lord. Oh, the Tree Lord, sorry, not the Tree Lord Ancient. I did mean the Tree Lord. And this uh, Tree Lord Ancient is going to step this way. Start bringing shots down. This Tree Lord is going to come this way. I'm kind of thinking some shots through there, some shots through there. Um, that's the way to go with that. Um, these spites are going to move. We've pre-measured. Well, we've pre-measured this gap. It's thirteen inches, thirteen and a half inches. Wait. Do I run? Is the question onto the objective. Here we go. Then I'm going to run these um, spite reps. So four. It's a nine-inch move. It's a nine-inch move. Gets that model to there. Just want to see how far it gets the furthest away. Basically, he's going to have to come. Uh, it could skip through the woods. So yeah. the lowest. Oh, the furthest model back gets to there, and then the rest are in a clump around it. I just need to. Well, there's one quite far back here as well. I'm just going to move that forward. There you go. And then after that, we can kind of clump up a little bit. I don't think I can get all ten models onto it. No, but you can get some. Um. 
Uh, one thing we didn't mention, sorry, and I should do, I need to get this into my hero phase. Dry is, is in battle, combat it's mode. The battle round. Oh, is it the battle yeah, round? Yeah, oh, right, yeah. she's combat mode. Angry. Okay, yeah, because let's face it, one way or another, if you double turn me, she's in combat. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's just, she needs, you know, uh, even if I, I was running around like an idiot, you're going to get me in combat, and it's just safer to play the combat mode. Yeah. She's also going to navigate the realm routes. And she's going to pop out over here. I do need a 9-inch ruler just to give me... You know what? It's going to be a little bit close. She does have a plus 3-inch charge, doesn't well, she? Well, you can get here. There you go. Me yeah, if you can do, that would be there. perfect. And that there. Okay, so let's go there, look. Yep. Nice one, Drycher. Loving your work there. Loving your work there, babes. Right, here we go then. Um, into shooting, I think. Yes. I think that's all movement over. Ten shots from Dreicher into um, Alvanor. Okay. Um, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones because she's a wizard. Yep. Um, and, of course, with this... Sixes to hit. Sixes mortal wounds. doing mortal wounds, yeah? Yep. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Three sixes. There's a one in there for a re-roll. Oh my goodness, that's so many hits, that's Jack. Very good. Um, and then the one oh, becomes a six. That's four more. Dude, I think the attack ends on those sixes. Uh, could yeah, be. I'm pretty so the attack sequence ends. That still gives me four hits. That's a ridiculous roll out yeah. of ten dice. And on those four hits, threes to wound, all four of them wounding at minus one rend, but doing nothing on the rend um, side of I things. I save all of them, but I do take you four save wounds. all of them. So you take four mortal wounds from Drycha. Well done, Drycha. Imagine if I'd gone for the shooty face. Both Tree Lord Ancient eyeing up Altharian. Shall I just roll these at the same time? Go ahead. She can't kill him. Doom Central staffs on twos, re rolling ones. Both going through on threes to wound. <laughs> dum dum dum. He halved damage anyway, but yeah. what are you gonna do? You gotta try and kill him at some point. Yep. Yeah. And then finally the tree lord going into Altharian, hitting on I think he's on twos with this. It's strangle roots, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Twos. Uh, twos re rolling ones because of the wizards. Um four hits. Wounding on threes. That's three wounds. Minus one rend. I don't know whether that affects. He's not stone, is he? Doesn't affect him because he's ethereal. Yep. But he saved them. Ah. Bounce, bounce. Here we go then. All important charge phase. Kinoff hunters needing yep. a three, but they are plus three. Yep. So that's a five. So that goes to eight. That goes to eight. Um, look, I don't want to break your models. I will say you might want to stay out of 12 inches from so I was going to... Everybody across there, because they've got the two-inch range and they don't need it. Dreicher can't Dreicher's going to be in trouble it, no matter what, yeah. And then let's go for Dreicher's charge. If you don't mind moving those models, she needs a six. <laughs> and I roll an eight. She actually does it. So. Um, well done, Dreicher. I needed you over there, honey. Well done. I'm very impressed with you. Now kick off and do some damage, Dreicher. Right, am I right in terms of positioning and activation? While we're in the charge phase and you're just doing that, you can't pile these guys right. in, can you? Okay, uh, what I'm going to say here is just because of the spears, that guy is over there, which makes him over there, which Fine. makes them all out of 12 inches. It's okay. just you don't want to break minutes, your spears. Yeah. Yep. Um, right, over here, so I can do this thing called cool because of my battalion, I can activate their stone guard stance, which makes them unable to pile in, but they get reroll saves. Right. And my my. I Bear just, in mind, she's really about mortal wound output. I know, but it's still those slashing talons. With yeah, true. Two damage. True. Um, and that's the thing. I if I if because we were kind of talking about this. If I activate this, you can safely go with the Kernoth hunters. Yeah. Annihilate all the yep. wardens because you know I'm going to get like one or two on Drycher, which won't. When do you have first. to announce it? Have to announce at the start of the combat phase. Okay, should we do it now? Um, yeah, I'm not. You want going, a minute? I'm, I'm not going to do it. You're not so going to do it. So they can pile in. So you're forcing Dryger um, to go and first. And I am going to burn an eighth of quartz for their plus one save. Okay, I, and I yeah. Redirect the fear onto her. 
Okay, what does that do? Um, it means she's at minus one bravery, okay. and they don't have to take it. All right, but that does mean if you are going to be doing the pile in, I definitely need to activate Drycha. So I'll be going with Drycha first. Yep. Here we go then, activating Drycha. I am negative one to hit, so minus one yep. to hit, fives to hit, but I'm looking for sixes anyway. I am re-rolling once. She is a wizard. 20 attacks with the swarm of squirmlings. Let's see those sixes. There's That's a few a lot of sixes, sixes in there. And even better news, it's That's quite so a lot many of ones. ones. That's a six there as well. You've missed That's one That's a six of them. there. That's and then a so one. many ones. And then let's take the one hit. Yeah. One hit then, because um, obviously... You've got a one with the sixes. Oh, sorry. Way, so. Do apologise. And then re-rolling that, that ridiculous ones. amount of ones. Which is <laughs> Oh, you, no. That's so Three many. more sixes. Um, but no more hits. So um, that is That's eight mortal wounds and one hit. Okay. Oh so no, of which I need to roll to wound, yep. of course. Uh, missed. <laughs> okay. That's four of them gone just from That's the That's insane. Wounds. Well done, Drycha, you <sighs> madman. And then all um, the slashing talents. Yeah, and slashing talents. She's on six attacks with the slashing talents. Again, she's at a negative to hit. Yeah. Um, although she's on three at the moment. No, wait, she's not. She's on four still with... Fours to hits with slashing talents. I always thought she was threes. Uh, so again, fives, fives to, to hit. hit. Rerolling Re ones, ones, of course. Uh, well, that's yeah. an insane roll. Um, maybe you should just... Oh, okay. Dry maybe I should just, play Yatsi. Just, just an entire <laughs> army of Drycha. That's all you need. Four hits, uh, threes to wound. Uh, that is uh, three wounds at minus two rend, which you ignore, Managed don't you, of course? save them with the ether quartz. And you save them with that's the ether quartz. That's a shame, because that would have been two damage. Um, um, yeah, and then we're into your activation. So yes. you only have two units in, so you might they as well activate both at the same so time. So should we do this while the camera's um, over here? Yeah. So piling in the three inch. Well done, Drycha. I don't think you did enough, but you did a lot. Them to there. Them to Bless there. Her. She's probably gone now, isn't she? That one round to there. I think if I could could have killed maybe one more, maybe one or two more. You got a guy at the back you've not piled. Oh him, yeah, he won't get in range. Yeah. Though, so. Um five attacks. Two, four, six, nine oh. attacks oh. with the diamond. Yeah, cameras. okay. After you do this, again I've missed the damage from the woods on um, charges, yeah. which maybe we should do on that unit. No, they were out. They've piled in to get within range. Ah, uh, okay, do apologize. Um but the diamond pick hammers. Hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Two saves at minus one. Two saves at minus one. Drycha is a three up save, so she becomes a four up save. Uh, one going through. And the stratum hammer, two hits. Two saves at no rent, so two three ups. One going so through again. Two wounds. Two wounds against Drycha, taking it to eight wounds. Yep. And your second activation, of course, with Lumina <laughs> yeah, for Realm Lords. First of all, I should have done this in the charge phase, but seeing the Colonel's bow towards him, the leader of the unit is going to throw his Sunfire Flask and oh. for D3 mortal wounds. So that's two mortal wounds on them, so two six ups to ignore. Two six ups to ignore. It just shatters into fire. Both going through, so two wounds on that unit. And then when, when is, just so we know, when is that normally done? Is that charge phase? Yeah, uh, it's at the, it's just, uh, it might be start of combat oh, okay. or end of charge, I can't quite remember. Either way, we're allowing Baxis on yeah. this point. You're still learning this army. I just want to do as well while we're on the Baxi front on a five. No, so. Uh, Leveling the pikes, let's do this. Whoa! That is only two mortal wounds. Not quite the uh, Drycha show that we had, <laughs> but you know. The Drycha fest. And then threes to wounds. Uh, okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad, you're gonna do seven. some damage here. Seven saves at minus one. That's a good so old roll, seven, so seven, five four up. up saves. Five ups. Oh, five ups, sorry. Um, wow, one, two, three, four, five going through. So that's... Plus the two mortal wounds. Six wounds in total, yeah. Uh, no, you had two mortal wounds, so seven yeah. going through. Oh, sorry, five, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So seven going through. Six up, ignore. Have you got more um, attacks to do yet? Yeah, I've got the champion. Okay, blades. carry on then. That's a hit. And a wound, so one save at minus one. One save at minus one. Save. Saved. 
And then, and then the ignores. six of ignores. Come on, Dreiter rolls. Oh, only one ignored. So unfortunately, that's six wounds going through to that unit. So that kills. That does three wounds to him, and then three to another. Okay. That's fine. And then we are into attacking back. Okay, attacking back with the Kurnoff Hunters. First up, the Huntsmaster on twos. I don't think I've got a wizard over there. I don't. But all three hit from the Huntsmaster. And then 12 attacks from the rest of the unit on threes. Uh, still pumping out those ones for you, Jack. Um, and then wounding on threes. Oh my goodness me. Uh, that is four wounds. All four go through, so that's 4d3 damage. Uh, that's six, seven, eight, nine. That's one guy left. Uh, they did enough in the end of the day. Right, as we move into battle shot, you've just got one end of combat move to do. Um, yeah, I mean, I am going to spend a command point to make them immune to battle shot. Okay. And then you are going to shove her back, is that So correct? yeah, I shove her back two inches. So it gets her to there, like that, yeah. and then yeah. I can make a one inch pile in move. Okay, so doesn't it change the outcome, I've got seven no. models on the objective, you've got six, so it was damn close. In fact, I actually had eight models on because I was counting Dreicher and you haven't pushed Dreicher off no, the table. No. Um, so I still take the middle objective, and of course with spikes on the two objectives and Tree Revenant still holding the objective over there, it's a clean sweep again for me. The best possible outcome, to be honest. Yeah. Because I think now the blood, mur blood murder, lust, flush, flur flurry of stone nastiness hits oh, me. Oh, I should mention that dude's going. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, he can't pass, can't pass his battle shock. So that takes me on another sw clean suite of seven points, taking me 14 to a five lead, going into Luminous Realm Lord turn two. Yeah. This See had to goes. be my tactic. I, I, I don't think I can beat you on the table. Other than those Venari units where I've got Rend against them. Yeah. Anything else is just going to be hard to kill. I mean, Dreicher overperformed. I actually expected Dreicher to only take a couple. I'm glad she overperformed because I wouldn't have held that objective. You had, I think, six models on it. Yeah. Six, possibly seven. And I ended up with eight. And we didn't check too close whether it was seven or six for you because it kind of. You know what? You might actually be. No, I'm... I think that Cathalar is there, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yeah. So it's so... seven to eight models. It did matter. <laughs> it really, in case... it really mattered how Dryger yeah. performed. But I can like spend a command point to do their like redouble their force, so they can push back another uh, a unit again. But it can't be the same unit. It has to be two different ones. Right, so it's not like okay. I can just like bum, 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 you can't like, just push the... push her all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think that's, that's it. That's turn. the end of my battle shock, and we go into your turn two. Yep. And here we go into last phase of the game. Probably. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, starting off with spells, I'm going to try and empower their spears. Get it on a ten. Oh, where's that coming from? Um, this unit. To Gives that them unit. a five up mortal wound instead of a six up. Yeah. You know what? Yes, I'll attempt to... Oh, it went off on a 10, didn't it? Yes. It's been on. Okay. Um, the Cathal are trying to do protection of Haish. <laughs> on a 12, she gets it. So that's a 9-inch or a 5 up to ignore damage. Yep. Then she will try and get her Darkness of the Soul off. No, she doesn't. Um, the Mountain Mage... We'll go for a Voice of the Mountains. Gets it on a seven. Denied on an eight. Yep. Uh, that's uh, I should say where it's coming from, but that's your last spell, is it? Yeah, so, yeah that's all okay. my spells. So now it's just into movements. All right. Oh, into your movement phase then. Um, just as a reminder for the audience, this is the priority objective number one. That's where all the points are. Well, yeah. you know, where a chunk of the points are. It's only one more point, isn't it? Is that right? Um, yes, yeah. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I mean, it's it's still good, but it's still only one more point, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, two victory points and then one for each of the other ones, and then, of course, we're getting plus one because of battle lines. So. Yep. Uh, this unit of Stone Guard's going to run a retreat. Mm. 
two, so they get six inches away. Six inches away, the dog goes crazy at somebody walking past the house. The usual stuff. Though. Good old Lola. Lola tends to save her appearances for patron games, doesn't she? Yeah. But every now and then, uh, pulls along to a YouTube game. To there, and then this lady to there. Mm, I know, I should be doing more to try and kill those, but I think... I'm not going to have much left to try and kill things with Big very shortly. Blue cow. Blue cow. Blue I've got a there. feeling Dreich is dead, and I've got a feeling my Kernoff um, Hunters are dead. They might just stay there to mm. try and just keep that wood from operating. You know what? They'll. They will actually move. Inch back? Into the woods. Oh, okay. You're risking the 5 up D3 model wounds. Yeah, but it stops things from. Appearing in there is the idea. Yeah, that's scaring the heebie jeebies out of me as you move those spears through those woods. Let's just say we know where they go. are. And then Altharion, six inches over to there. That's all my movements. Now it's into shooting. Okay. Altharion taking a pot shot at the yeah, his Spite Revenant. Searing darts of white light. That's going to be D6 mortal wounds. Oh, Five that's unnecessary. Okay. My goodness me. You know what? One, two, three, four, five. That's six. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, I'm just going to move those four back. Yeah. Next up, the Spirit of the Mountain into yep. the other unit of Spite Revenants. Yeah, the Geomantic One shot. Blast hits. Wounds, minus two, so no save. save for one damage. Yeah. I've seen worse. Yep. Next up, we are into the Kernoff Hunters with Alphanar. Yeah, Alphanar, his Geomantic Black. Hits. Hits. Wounds on a four. So, minus two rounds, so a six up save on them. One, six up save. Ah, oh, it was almost a six. Three damage. Three damage with a six up ignore. Was that yes. on yeah, this yeah. turn? It was, wasn't it? it? Um, two going through. Two going Which through. Kills off another one. Here we go then into the charge phase. Yeah, I'll go left to right. So yep. Altharion for the ten. Mm, so. Good. Yeah, I was hoping that would have made it too hard to do, oh. but I'll move him to the. Yeah, we right know. There. Is he up there though? From yeah, a gaming sure. point of view. Uh, the spirit of the mountain. Four. Oh, Makes it. Would have hoped for that to be the other side of the table. Uh, stone guards. Five. Five. They're good. They're good. That's four inch. Yeah, so getting them in. Yep. To there, and then. Alvanor. Eight. Plenty. Ding. Plenty. That's where I needed the five. Boom. Well, the four, wasn't it? I think you had. And at the end of charge phase, he's he within he's, an inch. No, he's out. Nope, there, so right? five up. Yep, yes, D3. D3 mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. Hi. Okay, Alvanar. Yeah, he gets six attacks. Um, it's not going to bother with Oh, of course, reports. I'm double uh, saving. Yep. Yeah, Tangle Fawn tickets are up. Um, I'm going to spend one of my... Com how many command points do I have left? Uh, you are on two command points, okay, sir. Okay, no, I'll save it. Uh, six attacks, hitting on threes. Um, that's two mortal wounds so far. Okay. And threes to wound. Two saves at minus one rend. Two saves, minus one. One of them going through. So that's five damage, so seven damage in total. Mm -hmm. And then his hooves on the threes and the three. Another save at minus one. Another save. And on the six, I save. Okay, so just seven damage then. Seven, six up ignores. One ignored, six wounds going through, killing a Kernoff Hunter and taking one off the unit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's take that one off. That's my boss, isn't it, with a big scythe. Sorry, I always have a problem because both of them have got hairs. Yep. The, you know you know what I mean. And there's one wound carrying over, isn't there? Should have mentioned that the Stoneheart shockwave from him is, of course, going into dry for minus one to Of hit. course. Um, but then he's swinging next with the World Hammer, hitting on a three. And wounding on twos. 
Two saves at minus two. Two saves at minus two. I'm not sure she's got a save at that, actually. Uh, that's but both ten going damage. Ten damage. That's her gone. She's gone. Okay. She only had eight wounds left, I'm afraid. Just before we activate these guys, I forgot that I was re-rolling saves. You did most of it through mortal wounds. You no, did I some, only did two, you mortal, did two wounds. mortal wounds. And one of the attacks. And so one attacks did five, five damage. So I'm just going to get the re-roll save on that yep. five damage, yeah? No. So it goes through and that's good. In which case, we're on to the attacks. Um, yeah, are, um, are you putting any attacks into those guys? How are all you of them, them into the stone guard. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to burn the Eve Quartz for plus one save on them. When do you burn the Eve Quartz, though? Is it start a when, combat? No, when they're selected to be a target of an attack. Uh, can you also do that for the big guy? No, I can only do one. What Eve does that quartz. give them? Plus one save. Right, what does that make their save now? Rio. And they're ignoring the rend. Yeah. What's the mounting guy say? Three up. Ugh. Yeah, okay, let's go for the guys. Okay. Two up. Uh, Two it'll up. be threes. Re -rolling one, uh, threes. Yeah. Rerolling the one there. Uh, no rerolls. Oh. There's no wizard. This one? Holy within 12. Um, yeah. Yep, holy within 12, which they're not, unfortunately, but it does wound. Uh, so that's one wound so far, and then I've got the six attacks out of the guy. Um, on fours, oof, that's a roll, threes, that is five going through in total, of course no rend. Uh, save them all. Ah, and this is what we expected really, was just bounce back, you might as well do your activation, I don't you? Oh wait, do you not want to, oh of course you're activating two, so yeah, your boss goes so. anyway, yeah. Okay. Um, don't get that many in because they're only a one inch range. So five of them in. Yep. Um, Probably the enough four, to do it though. The four these hammers. Are pretty good. Mortal it's wounds. Not, no. Oh, what does uh, mortal wounds with these, these guys? These are the mallets. Ah, okay. So three saves at minus one. Three saves. Re-rolling. Um, I'm on a four up save or a five up save now. On minus one. Save. So all re-roll. Oh, disastrous. All going through. Just one damage each. And one hit. One save at no rend from the... So how many went through there? So he's on four wounds at the back there. And one save from the Stratton Hammer. Yep. Is there a rend on that? No. It goes through anyway, but re-rolling. Saved. Four saved. Four guys. I was just going to remove them, but you've not really used this model before, so you want to do the rolls. Uh, no idea if he's <laughs> going to do it. Twos. I think we know he can oh, do it. Oh, yeah, he can because those sixes are extra hits. Right. And then twos because he made a charge. Ooh. Oh, okay. Three saves at rend at minus three. So. Oh, okay. Straight through damage. Yeah, there no, he goes. There they go. Yeah. And there we go into battle shark. I did lose two kernoffs. Yep. They are a negative, are they? Surely the um, mountains impacting them? No, no, not no negative. You could spend a command point. <sighs> How many command points have I got? You saved one. I've saved one. You know what? I'm gonna spend the command point. Oh, it's only on a six, isn't it? I'm losing one. No, of course. What's that bravery? Seven. You lost two, so yeah, mm -hmm. and then six one goes. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Spearmen. <laughs> Figured um, they were gone anyway, so I might as well save the command point. Um, four. Plus three takes them to seven. I'm pretty sure they're seven. six. I think they. I thought they were eight, but no. the high elves are not as good as I am. No, no. Uh, yeah, bravery six. So one of them goes. Oh no. And then I've got three Kernoff Hunters over there. We should do it at the end, but, yeah. you know, stompy stompy. Um, I'm going to put it all onto the Stone Guard in an attempt to at least reduce the Stone Guard down. So okay. it's on a four up, isn't it? I think for the yep. three models. Two mortal wounds. The stone Guard dies. Hmm. Okay, I think that gets us to the end of our turn. And we're five points on the... T seven points on the table for you, sorry. Yep. Uh, my my hasty excitement of saying, oh, well, I've maxed out on first two turns. Really, you've recovered. Um, and you're, there is only a two-point deficit as we go into the roll-off for turn three. This could be pretty disastrous for me. Um, if I get it, I might be able to pull some move shenanigans around to try and gain an objective or two. But, you know, all depends on where the objective goes as well. If it went over there, 
Maybe, right. maybe. We've still got to kill that bad guy. Okay, before we go into turn three, we need to uh, decide where the thing mm. is. Looking for a three. I get a three, mm, it so over it goes there. over there. I don't have any battle line over there. Got tree revs. Yeah, like tree revs can hop, skip, and take that one, so that's done. But of course, before I do any of that planning, roll. Here we go for roll off for turn three. Five. Five, but you went first. So. I'm having it. Here we go then into my hero phase. There's not a hell of a lot I can do, but I can definitely score some points getting yep. the initiative. Uh, I need to get off. Yep. So please don't let me down, dice. That's a nine. Uh, no, I have to take seven. the so it's a seven. Go for I'll the deny. Try. No, oh. five, so it's on. Ten branch raves coming into the trees. We'll position those shortly because everything else is over here now. I am going to return a spike revenant into yep. this unit. I don't have to roll for that, but well, I do, do have to roll for the mortal taste. wound from the Vestral no. Gem, is it? Yep, so you're good. Uh, so no mortal wound for the Vestral Gem, and to make life easy and easier, let's just move him onto there. Yep. And that leaves me with, you know what? I think I'm gonna bring up the Silly Worm. Okay. Let's, let's go for that. Go. Oh, I don't even know what I need to cast for it. I think it's a seven. Can I get a seven? I'll try. Nope. <laughs> don't know what this is. I'm going to have to look the worm up, dudes. So, at that, as we come to the end of my hero phase, I need to roll for the spite worm and oh, we need to do to the do damage the for the glade so worm, on sorry. A three plus for the worm. So, a three plus into the, the mountain. mountain spirit. Nope. Nope. The wardens. Yep. Okay, so, D3. D3 into the wardens. Come on. Two. Two. Okay. Getting through those wardens well, slowly. It stopped them from being a wizard now. Oh, okay. So they can no longer cast spells. And then on those, uh, the spite, um, the spite swarm hive, we yep. need to just cover for the, the dryads. dryads. Yes. yes, and the spites. Yes, yes. although so I doubt I'm using it for the spites, but the plus three move helps. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. Into yep. movement. There we go. Then into movement, and the revenants teleport across the table. That the um, tree revenants teleported all the way over the board, and they're claiming the major objective. So that's three points there. Yep. Um, I am going to uh, run and retreat the Kernos. Okay. <laughs> Just when they needed a proper move. Um, so that's a six-inch move they get. Yep. Um, not far enough away to be of any concern whatsoever. Um, then the Spite Revenants, uh, they're on plus three inch move anyway, but they're just gonna move all 10 models and take the objective. Uh, you have nine models on, so summoning yep. the one model back was vital to this strategy to work. Um, so that's all those guys at that. This Tree Lord is going to be wholly within six. He is wholly within six. There's nowhere for him to go though. The tree lord's just going to march forward. You got to try, haven't you? Well, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> you've got to try. This guy, tree lord ancient, my secondary tree lord ancient, marching forward. I'm going to check the rule because he needs two models within two inch, uh, within, within six. Within inch. six. So this tree lord ancient is also going to move his full five inch to give me that second model within six. Yep. Yep, in fact, he's going to come back a bit, so I want to be right at six. Okay. So I want to avoid any piling shenanigans. And then we're into shooting. In fact, actually, if he does that, still draw that still gives sight. me a line of sight without crossing the base. Good, good. Um, da -da 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 -da. What am I left with? The dryads need to stay where they are. They're going to attempt the charge. You know what? The branch wraith is going to run and retreat okay. for three inches, giving her a nine inch move, but she'll lose a little bit to the woods. She's just going to be able to get to the edge of that wood. It's not brilliant, but hopefully she can bring some more dryads with her before she demises. As far as I'm concerned, she's 20 dryads down. Saying that, the last time I brought her to the table, she did bring on 50 dryads, so I've got to give her credit. She's fluffed today, but 
um, you know, that's life. And I think at that we're into shooting. So here we go into the shooting phase. Two plus on Altharium for D3 mortal wounds. It's a one. Okay, into shooting phase. Jack's deciding to use Shockwave against the Tree Lord. Yeah, making him minus one to it. His strangle roots are actually going back over his shoulder into Altharion. Yeah. So it's um, still freeze to freeze hit. Freeze to hit. And uh, that's a that's cock dice cool. and a one. So let's just take the two out and roll the, the cock, cock dice. dice. First, so it hits. hits and then the reroll re of the one. That's a two. And then threes freeze to wound. wound. Ah, just one wound. No rend, of course, to you. Um, one wound. What I'm going to do, I know you halve the damage, but if I can massively reduce Altharion down... Well, he doesn't bracket. The, but then I again, know he doesn't the bracket, but if I can cows, get him yeah. off the, this edge of the table, you've yeah. got a long walk over here. So um, it feels foolish because he halves damage and it feels like I should be going somewhere else. Um, are you also on minus one with these guys? No, these ones won't be. Okay, so in which case then, both of my guys with Doom Tendril staff hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. <laughs> <laughs> Threes to wound. Wounds. Saved. Saved. Okay, into the charge phase. I'm charging the Dryads. These are on, uh, they need a six charge. They get a seven. So do you want them? Just put me kind of a row oh, like okay. that. But yeah, I'm going to use pile in. I, I, I don't know whether to, at the end of the day, you're going to attack me back. Um, and I want to be able to wrap around her as much as possible. So let's do the measuring. Then we're over to the tree lord charge. Yep. Double ones it. I'm on two command points. I've not actually changed my command points. I am going to have to spend the command point because I think I need this charge. And that's a five, so no, fluffed it up again. And now we're into the Tree Lord Ancient. Yep. <laughs> this is seven. Okay, so he's going to come along here and tag him. Wow. You could put both the Ancients in too. Well, I thought about that, but just feels like you could possibly kill them both. <laughs> Couldn't, probably can't kill them both. Yeah, you know what? Because that way, although, yeah, from an activation point of view, I've got two chances of ground shaking stomp going off. Have we done I that? Or can you only be targeting I one mean, you unit? You can only be targeted by one ground shaking stomp. It's just a tree lord stomps everybody. Yeah, it's but. It's just you can't be targeted by more than one stomp. Yeah. That's a four up, man. That's but the problem. But it's two chances of the impaling talon. Well, you've rolled, They've rolled, rolled one, one dice. dice. I was doing my ground uh, shaking some. Five. It's not enough. Neither the. It's damn close, but it's not enough. It's six and three quarter inch that. Yeah. Okay, well, that makes sense. Um, he stays there like that then. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, right. Okay, well, that's a pretty poor charge phase from my perspective. I really needed some stuff to go off. Uh, might as well fluff up my ground shaking stump. Yep, there you go. Right, here we go. I'm going to activate the Dryads. Um, probably, who knows? I don't think there's a right there's a right way here. I've gone through the numbers. I don't think the Tree Lord Ancient's going to do enough against Altharion because of damage reduction. So um, let's just go for... And the fact he... Does he ignore Rend? He does. He's ethereal, yeah? So, okay. That, he's just not going to do anything. Let's go for the Dryads. 15 attacks from the Dryads into the big moon floaty dude. Uh, what's his name again? Oh, he's just like a stone mage. I'm um, hitting on threes. I don't have a wizard nearby. So just hitting on threes. Yep. Winning on fours. You better fluff up some save rolls here, mate. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six wounds. For a palmer. <laughs> and then into the stone guard on threes. And then on to uh, on four, so three into the stone guard. One up and down. Ah, just one, just one, and one wound against the character. Yeah. Yep. Okay, your activation. Do you yep. want to do one over here first, or oh. does it matter? I, I I guess I can whilst the yeah. camera's there. I'll do the mage with his almighty blow. So yeah, he gets three mortal wounds. Okay, three of them dead. Ooh, got to come from this side. 
So I don't want any parlin shenanigans. Altharian into the tree lord ancient. Yep, uh, the fang sword on twos and threes. One save at minus three, so one six up. No! Three damage. Three wounds. Selenari blade. Uh, two saves at minus one, Ren, so two four oh, ups. I'm coming back. Hold on. Two four ups. Nope. That's another five damage. So eight wounds against them. Wow, that did well. What was the first attack? Wasn't the first attack the big wound thing? Or... That's his sword, and then he's got like his dagger. Wow. So what was the second attack? The dagger? Yeah, the dagger. And did, did another five wounds? He's just a rocket ship, isn't he? Um, right, you've done your two attacks, so let's go back with the Tree Lord Ancient. Doom, uh, sorry, the Sweeping Blows, just one attack on threes, re-rolling ones, gets a two, and then with the Massive Impaling Talent on threes, rolls a five, and it's um, threes to wound on this bracket, gets a two, job done. That leaves you with the Stone Guard. Diamond Pick Hammers, that is two mortal wounds. <laughs> and... Three saves at minus one, so three six ups. Were you at minus oh, one to hit that? I there? was. And you know what? I think all the other attack rolls were three, so they all missed. So it was just the two mortal wounds, and then the hammer. One save at no rent, so one five up. Which goes three so on a just one. Three damage. Three damage in total. Yeah. And there we go, into my battle shot phase. I take five points, three for the objective over there, and of course by one model scoring over here, probably two actually, because there's still a dryad on the edge of it. Yeah. Um, doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Um, yep. This is five points, takes me to a seven point lead going into your turn three. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know how I can hang on to this one, but I'm doing my best, it's two from claw. Um, but we go into your turn three. Is there any battle shock? No, because no. this is my enchanted piece of terrain, so I'm good over here. I think I've got to take some of those wardens. Ooh, Five. how they many lost did you lose? Two, two, so another one run. Another one. Oh, you didn't roll for the uh, woods as well on them, I don't Give think. Give over, did so I? on a five up? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Might be able to just... Yeah, I had one turn when I remembered that. <laughs> So another Warden runs. Okay. I think that's about everything. I think it is. Right, here we go into Lumina Realm Lords. Hero phase. Hero phase. I'm just going to do a Voice of the Mountains. I get it on an eight. Oh, sorry. Miles away there. Have I got anything in range? Yes, I have. Yeah, uh, Tree Lord Ancient over here. And on a five, you're good. Um, the Scenari will put a Mystic Shield... No, chill. In fact, actually, we will say from the dryad, actually, if you don't mind. Oh, actually, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Still got the dryad over there. Is all your wizards there now? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just Okay, them makes too. no odds then. Um, She's just going to Mystic Shield the big Moo Cow on a six. You can try and stop it with the 3d6 back there. What else have you got? That's it. Nope. Triple one. <laughs> just about right for how my dice have been doing this Perfect. game. Perfect. Okay, um, I think that's about everything. Yeah, okay. So then it's into movements, which again is going to be super. Here we go then into movements. Shimmering three inches away, moving to be three inches away. Um, wah, wah, wah. This guy just moving up to be three inches away. Staying in there to keep that wood closed down. Arthurian has to stay there, and then this lady's just going to pull back. Um, then it's into shooting. Okay, I've just separated out all the ones and twos. Yeah. And I'm going to. They're, they're a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> and the king of the mountain. Ah, missed. Boing. That's one shots for you. The next king of the. Alvanor. Quit. One it's... shot. Quit. No way. Is he up? He was two to wound. No, he's two to hit, three to wound, I think. Ah, uh, stinker. Yep. Okay, so he is threes and twos, not yeah, twos and threes. So I did wound. Um, so minus two rend. Minus two rend. Six, uh, six up. Oh. Don't get a re-roll for that, do I? Because it's no, no longer the combat phase. Four damage. 
And that takes him off and three wounds carrying over. Yep. Uh, then it's just charges. Um, oh, yep, into charges. Alvanor. The five. five is good. Into there. Uh, the stone guards. Oh, that wasn't really a roll. Just a dribble. Uh, it's not great, but it gets them. Gets them moving. Kind of somewhere. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Drop like that. The other mountain creature. Mountain dude. Mountain spirit. Oh, oh 12 goes wherever he wants. They're just there. <laughs> um, and then that is all the charges. Little so dudes? No, they're staying there. They can't. Oh, technically they're not a shining company anymore, but they can't. I'm just going to. They're just going to stay there. Do you want to put them on the objective during your movement? Did you? No, forget? they couldn't. They couldn't make it. Ah, because they can't run. And they're shutting down that wood from like teleports and stuff. Yeah, okay. So. And the dual activation of Lumineth means both the mountain one, both mountain oh, spirits probably. are going probably. Um, Certainly the first mountain one. spirit. What? 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 Thank goodness your dice That's comes working. Two hits with the cloven hooves. Cloven hooves. And one wound, so that's one save at minus one. And on two five, two damage. Two of them die. Yeah. Before you roll on five up shenanigans on the guys in the woods that you said are holding the woods. Oh, it was so much a six for so long and then fell um, off of it. Alvinor's popping his last pop of ether quartz just to get this over and done. Get the focus working on the camera Two's there. Sorry hit. about that, folks. Two's to wound. Three's to oh, wound. three's to wound. Five saves at minus one, so five, and, uh, four, five up re-rollables. Gotcha. Did you say five up re-rollable? Yeah, so that's one save so far. Oh, three going through. Like All of them. 16 damage. Yeah. Pop, pop. Bang, bang. Pop, pop, bang, bang. Double hammer. Come on, Tree Lord Ancient, don't let me down. Sweeping blow. Yeah, let me down. Hit. That hits. The ball dice. The, the impaling talent. Oh. Five. It hits, but. Wounds. I save. And moving on to the next two activations Four for the Lumina. Stone guards. <laughs> it's three mortal wounds. Of course. And the hit. <laughs> and no wounds. So just three mortal wounds. Just three of them dead. Yeah. Just three. And then the mountain uh, spirit. Oh, I, I, well, I, yeah, I guess. Oh, is. no, sorry, go on. You've got somebody him. else. Well, you've got so nobody else to activate. Three mortal wounds. You got bumped. So he, she goes. You know what we didn't do? Ground shake and stop. Yeah. It doesn't matter because I haven't. Well, it would have done because I wouldn't have activated him if you were fighting last. Okay, if we do ground shake and stomp because I completely forgot it, if I get a four up. I don't. Makes it nice and neat. That's Baxi's for you. A bucket full of tags with the spite remnants. Yep. Minus one to hit, becoming so fours to hits, uh, threes to wound. So fours to hits. No wizard nearby. Um, oh, that wasn't the best four up roll. But it, you know what? Oh, Probably looks bad. about average, doesn't it? it? I think we've taken a few more out than in. And then threes we'll, to wound. We'll make up for it on the threes. Um, didn't do bad at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wounds. Uh, that one's cocked. And cocked again. Ah. Three wounds on him. Wow. And then um, Altharion returning his hits. I've realised now the confusion. Jack, when I said Alvanor attacking back, you were confused, and it's because it's Altharion attacking yeah. back. Two saves at minus three, so two six ups. Two six ups. Come on. One going through. One damage. Woo, takes him to nine Mate. wounds. But then the little dagger comes along uh, and ouchie, one, ouchie. Two hit. Sorry, that's three hits because he's a swords master. Uh, two saves. Minus one wound, so two Have you got ups. both the Warhammer TV dice? I've got yeah, all three. Yeah, no, we're going to have to talk about that. There you go. Pass them over here. In fact, I don't want all three. I want two of them, though. How many saves? Two, two four ups. Come on, Warhammer TV dice. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. They're broken. <laughs> well, um, that was an interesting round because you veritably fluffed, really, yeah. there, didn't you? Um, you? I mean, you kind of didn't. You didn't. You moved the 
But he should have removed that unit without yep. a doubt. I've never seen a mountain cow hit a unit no. and not remove it. Yeah. And you did two of them, which makes no sense whatsoever. Um, that's led to an unfortunate set of events in the middle of the table there. We are eight yeah, on eight. I, I'm assuming you have a command point, yeah? Uh, you're, yes, I do. So um, I'm yeah, guessing yeah. I'll be spending spend it to save them because if I lose a model, up, up. Yeah. So nice. eight on eight in there. Um, you don't gain that one, but you do, of course, gain that one, scoring you two points. That moves the score 14 to 19. It's a five point lag going into turn four. Roll off. <sighs> yeah, let's just do the roll off. In fact, let's try and find out where that objective is first uh, before yeah, we go. Right. Your roll. Middle. Middle. Still <laughs> oh, okay. good for you. That's not bad. Just can, arguably retreat, ease, put one model yeah, on it. You can easily hold that. No, you say easily. Well, you can because you just retreat them off three inches away, and as long as they're all on the objective, that's still yours. I still need to. Uh, of course, you didn't take it from me. No, I didn't. I'm one model less than you on there. And you can uh, just bring the three of them back as well, remember? So that's, of course, if you get the turn. If I get Let's the do turn, the roll off. Story. Let's do the roll off. Here we are. Here we are, rolling off. It's a two. It's a one. No, Jack! <laughs> okay, uh, I'm taking the turn, but Jack I'm gets to move that, that away. Away. Off it goes. Um, right into my hero phase. Here we go then. Um, D3 Spike Revenant. Vesperal Gem. Vesperal Gem. So it goes off. So it's just D3. That's three, three of them. But um, there's eight. So that's two roll, models back. Roll to see if it goes wrong. Ooh, swapping from the War of TV okay. dice. Five and is good. And then you get to heal D3 wounds to a unit within 12 inches. So you can heal uh, D3, D3 on the Tree Lord. Oh, Only just one. the one wound. But, you know, um, better than none. Where do you want them? Just there. Yeah, I'm moving backwards from you anyway, okay. so back here's so fine. Just like that. I will be retreating. Um, other spells, you've got regrowth. Let's do regrowth. It's a six. That goes off. I think it does, um, yeah. I can't deny it. You can't deny it? Um, you do get a deny, of yeah, course. Yeah, because you don't need line of sight, but. Ah, you're fine. Five and a four, yeah, so I do okay. that one. Whoa, I really needed that. That's D6, isn't it? Yeah. Nice one, Jack. Um, um, three dice over here. Yep. Aroused to Raph. <laughs> Fine. She's not been on it today, has she? She's just not been on it. She's not paid for herself today at all. Um, what spell have I got left? Um, I'm Rouse the Forest, maybe. Oh, no, you've done all your spells. She oh. brought them back. You tried regrowth. and Tried regrowth. All done. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We'll check the forest rousing thing because are you close enough to rouse it? Probably oh, definitely with over the magic there, so that went off. That. Oh, yeah. been missed. Actually, looking at this, I'm not sure we did miss much before because he moved forward last turn after the hero phase. Yeah. But either way, it has gone off this time. Not so five, five up. No oh, oh, well, well. And at that, we go into my strongest phase <laughs> movement. <laughs> yep. Oh, dear. Right, uh, retreat. Uh, no, of course. Start the turn. Uh, yep. I can't take that objective over there. No. I'd have to kill something. It's not worth losing the point for your battle line holding. That is the primary objective. We ought to mark it. No, it's it. not. Oh, the sorry. The middle is. one is, isn't it? Um, okay. Well, uh, yep. They're going to stay where they are. They're yeah. furthest away from harm. Closest they are to harm, the safer they are. <laughs> um, that does make sense. <laughs> they are very small. Um, <laughs> Quite a three inch measure. Not really. Okay. Yeah, let's just do a three inch measure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, so. And. Yeah. Like yeah. That. So spiky. I think we can get all ten on, can't we, in that? Nah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like that. Like that, and just check it. Yep, <coughs> all on. Was one point actually is where they were. No, they weren't all within eight inch. I was just seeing if I could get the plus three inch move as well. Not that I would have used it, but okay. So that grabs me the middle objective for three points. Um, what are you doing, with tree lords? Well, because he didn't heal himself. Oh, I'm tempted to just retreat, but then I can't shoot. I might leave him the in shot. The shot. Not do anything. It might mm, do. Maybe. It might do. You know what? Let's just come back. 
Well, remember their battalion ability. So yep. if they're so within six. So he's going to come back. He's going to come back five. Even and he's going to. Oh, you're coming back for them. Well, I kind of think you're you're not going to want to abandon that objective, and you need to take it. So I might as well just move him back a little bit. Okay. I've still got the twelve-inch shot if I want to put him into here. Okay, so with these two, he's just going to come back here to give me the six-inch ability here, and I think he's going to march forward to the three-inch mark. Um, you know what? I still want to check if I can do a 12 inch shot over my shoulder. Okay, here we go then. So for movement shenanigans now, next set of movement shenanigans, um, tree the revenants tree running. revenants running. Four inch Four, gives me a 10 inch so move. Can you do me a rat bubble inch. round? Nine inch, sorry. And six inches away. Yeah, so just give me a wrap around. Over like this. That's good. And this is the thing, you don't need too many. This Tree Lord objective. Ancient retreating from Altharion. I'm getting nowhere with killing him, so let's just make him choose his units. Uh, yeah. It's a one inch. So it's a six inch move. So a six inch move. Eek, eek. I don't think it's enough. There's a tree in the way, and now I'm caught in the tree, and now I've moved Altharion. What a nightmare. Let's just remeasure that off right. camera a second. Okay, Jack pointed out, of course, Altharion was higher up the mountain and therefore my Tree Lord Ancient yeah. was higher up. I have retreated three inches away, just to the edge of those woods there. So that's that covered. This Tree Lord is going to march forward. His five inch move. And then I'm probably going to... Oh, I can't run the Tree Lord Ancient, can I? No, so I'm not going to get the six inch attack. Well, not, but he just... He needs to... Yeah, I was thinking if I could spank out the two within six inches if you can get can i get within well, 18 inch exactly. shot range of him 18 needs to be there, there. And, and can i still be at still six, inch six there. inches there so yeah you can do the spirit song on to him and let's just remeasure to him to yeah that's good sorry mountain cow right okay so on a two up d3 mortal wounds on altharian from the spirit song and it's a one again Again. Okay, let's start with the Tree Lord. Is five attacks. Um, he's unwounded at the moment, that Tree Lord, yeah, isn't he? So, um, yeah, are you going to do your minus one to hit on me? Um, From the Mountain Cow? Yes, yeah, I will. On the Tree Lord, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so he becomes threes to hits with the Strangle Roots. Yep. Um, that is three hits. Threes to, threes to wound. Three wounds. Minus one rend, but Two the rend three. makes no chance. Next up, the Tree Lord Ancient putting his shots into the wizard. Yep. Um, one attack here. Um, he's taken eight wounds, though, so... No, he's taken nothing. It was the other one that was wounded. Oh, sorry, he's taken cross. nothing. So he's twos to hits with the Doom Tendril Staff. Rerolling ones, but he yes. does indeed hit. And then threes to wound. He does wound. Minus one rend. Saved. Saved. Hoping for that d6 damage, but it just didn't do it. Into the charge phase, the tree lord. Come on, tree lord, he's in. Seven inch move. I'm going to go all the yeah. way around the back of you because I don't want any shenanigans. Yep. <sighs> and on a four up, do I do that in the charge phase? No, you do it in start of combat. Start of what combat. you do at the end of the charge phase is the five up. Yeah, is there anything else I'm doing just for pluckiness? Um, if there's any command points. Tree lord spend. ancient. Tree Lord Ancient into. You could give it, could give it a go into the mountain count just to. Come on, Tree Lord just Ancient. To, no, no. Five. Let me down. End of the charge phase. The uh, five up. Nope. Anybody no, else? No. Nope. Uh, no, that's everyone. Okay. Okay. No need to do the ground shaking stomp. This is the only show in town. Are you um, spending the command point. I'm for the spending the command ignore. point for six up ignore from him. Do I spend another command point for re-rolling ones? He's got re-rolling ones because the tree lord ancient is just within yeah. twelve. So no point on that. Five attacks from uh, sweeping blows. Four, yeah, attacks, four attacks. Four attacks from sweeping blows. Minus threes to hit. Two. Minus one to hit. Becoming four. This is fours to hit. Threes to wound. Re-rolling ones. Re There's a one. one. Warhammer TV dies. Didn't let me down again. Three hits. Three hits. Three to wound. Three Two wounds. Let's save. 
Oh, War on my TV device. One more time, please. Real oh, ones. Oh, and negative me. Oh, reroll ones. Yeah, yeah, good point. Come on. D6 <laughs> mortal wounds. D6 mortal wounds. It has to be the TV dice again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think we need to take these dice out of the pool. <laughs> and the angry man's in spirit fights back against the oh. tree lord. Oh, whoa! Okay, that was three ones. Okay, okay. He's had a couple of bad rounds. Two that's two saves at minus two, so that's two five ups. Two five ups, one going that's through. That's five damage so far, uh, though. Okay. And then the cloven hooves. Two more saves at minus one, so two four ups. Both saved. Five damage. Six up, ignore. None of that's them. Five, five wounds, wounds going through. Okay. It was a terrible round for you. Um, Good round for you. Great Tactics. round for me. Uh, that takes me to 26 points. I have no idea how I uh, achieved 26 points. I've just been scoring. Scoring, scoring, scoring. Scoring, scoring, scoring. Did I really call score seven points in turn three? Yeah. Pretty sure you did. Did I? Yeah. Oh, of course, because I had, I had the turn and that enabled yeah. me to score it and then you took it back. I was trying to work out what went wrong there. Um, so yeah, that's 26 points to 14. I'm slightly worried. You're, I'm 12 points ahead of you and the max you can score now is 14 points. So unless you stop me scoring two more points. Which I don't think I can. Well, you know, if you win the roll, if you do well this turn and win the roll off, Although yes. you have got to score everything this turn as well. So you've got to do really well and then score the roll off yeah. just to... Here we go then into Luminef Realm Lords, turn four, three command points. I'm going to try and get rid of that. Nope. Nope. I'm going to... That Ace was that from her. Yep. Um, she's going to try and do Overwhelming Darkness. Six, seven, eight. She gets it. I'm going to go with the Deny it. from um, the... the Nope. That's a seven, so nope. And then Voice of the Mountains. I get it. Let's go for the deny again, this time from the Tree Lord Ancient. Yeah, the Ancient. Yeah, he's eight. Did I stop it? I thought you yeah. scored eight. Oh, did I score eight? I thought, oh, no. I, I thought you oh, rolled right. nine. But no, that no, is it. seven, eight. So, yeah. Okay, just go off. Um, that's all my magics. Movement. Movement. Alarith moving up to there. Stone guard dude going to there, just consolidating up to there. They have to stay there. He's going six inches into the trees. Yeah, let's just move a tree out of the way if you want. Um, these two moving six inches. To can get they kill a whole away. unit? Well, he can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're trying to do now. You've got to do an almighty charge around the edge of those guys. I didn't screen them very well, did I? But not a problem. Hmm. Yeah, so he has to go hop down to there. Like that. Uh, he's gone within three inches of the tree, Lord. Oh, though, yeah, yeah. you're right. So he has to kind of go more yeah, yeah, that's like cool. that. All right. Um, that's movements. So, into shoot. Altharians. Um, yep. Mortally wounded, shotty oh, pop. Nothing. Nope. Yep. There we go. Mountain spirit. Hits. Wounds. That's minus two, so that's a five up save on the uh, tree lord. Oh. You're good. Didn't need um, that. Alvanor can't shoot, so now it's just into charges. Into the charge phase, then. You can do this. Alarith. Seven, so getting up into okay. there. Need to deal with them. Shouldn't be a problem. Alvanor. Six, no. A uh, tree right in the way. Alfarion. Yeah. You've got three command points, by the way, before you move on. I do. I got a six with Altharion. Yeah. I'll put him. I'll there. let you have a backseat on that because um, you've yeah, got, you're got stacking up command points like crazy. Yep. Five. Okay. And the two wardens. It's a two and a five, so seven gets them. 
up to there like that at the end of charge phase on a five up is there anything um, within there Eltharion, because he had to go that side is he just to be yeah, he, just to be checking is. from your intent is he more than three inch from the tree lord ancient he should be yeah you got a six inch charge so okay like that and a five up let's <laughs> get a five up three more um, wounds so four wounds on him um Alan Alvanor, roll for oh, him. Oh, Alvanor, yeah. Five up. Yes. yes. D3. D3. Two. Two. Takes him to six wounds. Um, what else have we got to do? So, now it's start of combat. Should we just do it here? Ground Shaking Stomp? Yeah, sure. Ground Shaking Stomp on the Mountain Spirit. Does go off on a five. Okay. Makes life interesting for you. Yes. Does it really, though? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That does. Okay, sorry. Uh, no, no, that's fine. Um, that's everything that started combat, so now it is you just into combat. You clearly know something combat. going off there that I'm not. Okay, into combat, Alfarion. Angry spirit armor that he is. Fang come on. Sword. Should have done better. Oh, come on. It's twos, isn't it, to wound? When he charges with the fang sword, yes. Yes. So that is three wounds from that. Okay. The Selenari Blades, one hit, one wound, uh, minus one red, so six up. Good. One damage, that's oh, four gone. Four of them gone, okay. Um, <sighs> you probably want to take from this. Yeah, though, that's you? what I'm thinking. I am going to do the just... Four of them, yeah. yeah four. That don't means you, taking don't a... you just want everybody onto them, though? Do, but there's sure. a banner, there's the banner a gives you six inch piling, so it's not. You're not going to do any damage to Altharion. Right. That's kind of. Take the boss out, put him back. Yeah. Um, the Wardens, the Pike, uh, one hit. Oh, sorry, that's just a mortal wound. And then the Champion's Blade. One save, minus one. Three. So two more gone. Them two. Or yeah. Do you want to keep the piper? So do like that and that. Yes. Yes. And then we'll okay. do the yeah. But it's um, oh, that's your two rounds done, that's isn't it? Um, sorry, I meant spikes. And it's the roll to see if I can attack. Um, yep. Is it one dice? Two. Two dice. If you get over the bravery. <laughs> really? Ooh, now's the time to pull out an over the bravery roll. Their, their bravery is six. I'm pretty certain. Bravery is six, so they, so they cannot attack. attack. Um, Stone Guard will attack. Yep. Back. Yeah, that is okay. So I was just thinking. I was just thinking. Be, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I have to do that when I activate. Do I? I have yes. to make that test when I activate. Yeah. So it costs you an activation. Yeah. Uh, there was nothing else to fight anyway. I don't feel bad about that. Uh, diamond pick hammers. Come on, Jack. You can do Five this. Five saves at minus one. Whew! Three die. Three die. Stratum hammer. Miss and a hit. And a wound. That's one save at no rend. Five up. Nope. Goes through. Uh, so it's just four of them gone. I four would of them recommend gone. you take yeah. to, get, no, hope oh. to get holy within six of the tree for about. <laughs> I, yeah, I'd be amazed if I can do that. But although, to be honest, we do need the to sort out the woods because the points aren't off. touching. But yeah, so if you take them, those four. The battle shock and me. That gives me. But I think you may have done. I've got the objective. Yeah, fours re-rolling ones coming from the tree revenants. Fours. Rerolling the ones, that was a two. Um, you do have a once reroll, or do you want to save that to the wound on this better chance? Yeah, we'll out. save it for the wound. And yeah. then threes. Uh, reroll one of them. Yeah, I'll take the one out and reroll the two. Yeah, wow, so five. five. Um, uh, rend is pointless to these yeah, guys, then. is it? Or minus no, one rend? You get them. Oh, crikey. So that's them you two didn't gone. need that. You didn't need. Okay, two attacks from the tree lord. Um, Sleeping blows. Sweeping blows on threes, or is he on fours, actually? He'll be on fours, but Just get a reroll one. one. That hits. Hits, and then wounds on the three. Wounds. Goes three. D6 damage, you didn't want that. That's six damage. Oh Ooh. my god, I popped a mountain goat. 
with a crash. I really rubble. did not expect that. Oh no, Jack. That's like proper like ent just, just roots like into, into the mat, just pulls, pulls out a rock. boulder. It's the old all thank wall. <laughs> You, at the end of your turn, batter my guys two inches back. Boink, yep. Boink. And I have to just go yeah, you as just far have to go as I can, those as two far inches, as you yeah? Can away. And then I get to pile in an inch. Do you want the full inch? Because you've not used no, the full I inch. I just need to move them up a bit. You've pushed all but one model off the, off the um, objective. Yep. Which is what you needed. But you didn't need to lose a mountain. As we go into your battle shock, I spend my last precious command point to retain the four tree revenants so I can hold on to that yeah, objective. Yeah, they're battle shock immune anyway. They're battle shock immune because of the woods. Um, um, I simply did not do enough. Five points takes you to nineteen to twenty-six. You have a seven-point oh, deficit. Far on fluffed up there. How far on fluffed? You need to take this round and remove Score me from the table. And I can't. Uh, can you stop me from scoring? You just don't have anything over here, do you? Oh, you know what, though? Let's, Let's roll. roll. Let's, Let's roll. Because if it goes over there... You're right, so should we roll for the main is, yeah, primary? Yeah, go for it. I'll let you roll it. Um, it has gone over one, there. So it does go to there. Okay, that's good news for you. Game um, on. And then roll off to see you guys next. Oh, yep, yeah, roll off. Here we go. Roll off. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Six. <laughs> Four. You get it. You needed it. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> That's the one time you needed it more than anything. Into the hero phase, um, eight inch. Let's just go over there. So if you move it eight uh, inches to there, no, no, no. you can get it. No, in. it was nine inches to was him. It so it's just on so her. her. But it also on a three plus heals him. So to her. Yeah, it's a D3. One. So it doesn't want to her and, and three on. plus. Yep. Heals MD3. One. So, heals up a wound. Now you've got one shot to it's draw this of, game? Yeah. Well, we'll be down to secondary objectives. Yeah. <laughs> um, starting off, magic. I'm going to try and get rid of that. I don't. Nope. I'm going to try an arcane bolt. I don't. I'm oh, going to try and... Oh, me. Voice of the Mountain. Voice of the Mountain. I... Do. Go for the 3d69. Uh, On a 9. Don't. I got a 9. So that goes off. Um, <laughs> that's hero phase, so movements. Move. There we go, into your movement. Not much to be done here. Falling back. Now Thorian sits at 3 inch from everything, yeah? Yes. Those guys fall back to the objective. Um, where where do you want to go? He has to move this way. Yeah. He has to go six inches. Let's take him the out the front, move him in the back there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, so it'd be straight into shooting, but doing this very quickly because we have kind of mathed this We've out. We've just mathed it out and actually um, you can't draw it. Altharion's white light doesn't get enough. It's three mortal wounds, but that leaves one. What, how do you know he doesn't get enough? Because it. Above a certain roll, is it D6 mortal yeah, wounds? Yeah, above is it? A, a, a f if he rolls a five or six, it's D6 okay, mortal Okay, so you can. Well, there's still battle shock, and I have no command. They point. can re roll the battle shock, but yeah, I guess. Um, um, I would then go straight into the charges, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, uh, well, shooting um, right. cow unit can't, can it? Oh, it could, it could shoot into that unit. Oh, uh, I, I would probably do it into the tree lord. Tree lord. Uh, hits, doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. And uh, charges. Altharion's so done his be, shot, hasn't he? Sorry. Yeah. And then so charges, Altharion. you would go after him. Alvanor would go into them. Yeah. I mean, Altharion. Should we just do this quickly? Yeah, do it. Just do it. Just Tree do Lord it Ancient. Um, that is two saves at minus two. But to be honest, before that, on a five up, he takes D3 mortal wounds. No, okay. So two saves of six up. Yeah, there's also ground shaking stun, but we'll come back to that. Oh, yeah, um, true. Uh, so, so uh, D3 damage. Uh, yeah, ground shaking um, stomp yeah. didn't work. Two wounds, so he's on nine, and then the Selenari Blade. 
two hits. One save at minus one. Go through? For three damage, so that would have been five damage in total. Pops the tree lord. Him. So the tree I mean, lord ancient goes. I think we can safely say Alvanor like just deletes those. Yeah, just. I mean, well, we've actually, seen him out in Cow do less than that, but it is Alvanor. He's on full whack. One save at minus one. Five nope. damage. And then the hooves. Yeah, well you've taken. Okay, you only one need to kill one. One save at minus one again. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. He gets so there you go. All of them. And that takes us to the end of your turn. And the reason we've just quickly done that is rather than math ham it through, we just wanted to show you. Even if Jack had a stonking turn, which arguably that battle is. Battle shock. Battle shock just over there. His battle shock. So. Two. He's fine. He's and good. That's the problem. And that was the problem. And even if you had have taken him off, he's not a battle line. So you'd have scored have one, six points. two, three, four, five, six. Taking you to 25 points. With me going into my turn. You could have scored that. You could have just moved the Tree Lord Ancient. You say that. I mean, I could teleport that Tree Lord by more than nine inches away. Well, and he's, you could he's just run the Tree Lord Ancient onto the objective and you hold that. And you yeah, but he, if he'd have gone, I wouldn't have held oh, it. Do yeah, you understand okay, me? Yeah. So it would have still been a one point victory to me, even if I don't score anything. Yeah. I think. And I would have yeah. unlikely scored in turn five. So there you go. Um, you know, it feels like um, I it was good. felt like. Well, you know, it's one I of those things. There was there there was a degree of lenience with the Sylvan F in which oh, God, we yeah. we kind of allowed for trees, but I think it makes a far more interesting game. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it makes the Sylvan F play like how they're supposed to play with this crazy movement blocking line of sight you hard know, to pin down going from one side of the table to the other in one turn they're just everywhere they're retreating they're falling back they're feigning it kind of plays how they're meant to play in the law yeah you, know? you have to play sylvan f to their strength which is essentially mobility and one of the things we said during the turn was this is a three objective game i'm struggling to leverage sylvan f's only advantage <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean um because of the way this army was made up against your army i couldn't really hurt you that was the issue i didn't yeah. have much that could actually hurt you and i have chipped away at you the mountain coat has gone down the two units of spears have gone down the venari gone down half of the unit of um the hammer guys guards. stone guard yeah but you know if you compare that to you know mine you've taken out a uh, tree lord you've taken out dry chair you've taken out well 20 the spy only revs. thing that's left is like two tree lords well yeah easier to say two tree lords and a single um uh um I did the damage. I just didn't have the bodies and the maneuverability. I yeah. was a slow army. Yeah. Um, and that's where it struggled. But of course, we all know that. This was a, this was you just trying to list out. You didn't expect it to be competitive, but the list was designed for it to be a close game with Sylvaneth. And I think that's what you delivered. Yeah. You delivered. You 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 went in there saying, I want a challenge against Sylvaneth. So I've designed the list that, you know has a bunch of distinct disadvantages against Sylvaneth. Mm. And at the end of the day, there's one point in it. And this is the thing. I could have, um, I know. could have come along with Techless and just been Techless. But how boring would have that been? Well, it, it wouldn't have know. even been a game at that point. I wanted to have a game, not like a thrashing. And I think this made a far more interesting game. I, yeah. I, I, I far more enjoyed thinking, oh, wow, they're just everywhere. Or how am I going to get everything over there? It was more... Oh challenging for me as a player it kind of you know i've learned a lot of things about the army and the maneuverability aspects that well, exactly. i now have to be it's, more aware and of. of course you know why you're putting some of the other units in and stuff like that listen we need to go in and do battle shock for yep. our patrons so let's not get too much into a debrief youtube fans hope you've enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to support us don't forget to check out patreon we are also considering launching uh youtube premium as well for some of our premium content so let us know in the comments if that's something of interest to you. If it is, fantastic. Um, but if not, we will see you on the next one. And no doubt Jack will have some high mobility units in his <laughs> Luminef Realm Lords. See you on the next one. See ya. This video is made possible by our patrons. If you want to know more about how to support us, click on the link to the right.